Hello, so I'm back. Uh, hopefully what I did uh, worked just fine. Yeah, let's uh... No store, we have the Utopia Builder Preview. We'll check that out. Multiple maps, interesting. Out of the icy apocalypse into a hopeful future, leave the city, survive, grow, expand, and prosper. Can you build a world worth living in? This preview has limited has been limited in scope, no story mode available. The game is a work in progress. Bugs, crashes, and placeholders may appear. Playthrough is capped at 300 weeks. Interesting. Sheltered between mountain ranges and a small valley, this place was judged well protected from the elements with relatively easy access to resources. Initial plans aim to use the nobody the nearby body of water for fishing, but it froze solid during the great storm. However, there's still access to vast uh the heck? Oh, we're all good, we're good. Um, however, there's still access to vast frozen forests in the area. <coughs> the frost disfigured this area, but it was chosen for easy access to geothermal energy. It lacks other fuels, though. Hmm. The variety of key resources in the area outweighed the dangers of being placed in the open plains of the Frostland. We'll do Fractured Gorge. That sounds interesting. Machinists and foragers. Workers and merchants. Lords and thinkers. Random. Workers and merchants. We'll do medium. I have no idea what I'm doing. This is this seems very different. Uh, colonization. Establish a food colony. Establish a fuel colony. Establish a materials colony. Explore most frostland territories. Utopia. Increase population to forty thousand. Dude. Huh, establish a... I need to try the Limitless. I mean, this is only out for a week. I'm going to have to do more Limitless in Frostpunk 1. Establish a food colony. Establish... Yeah, yeah. Output and abundance of heat. Ambition population. Two colonies. Population of 80,000. Prosperity. Okay, we'll do... Colonize... Mm. Wait, not available in this preview? Oh. Gotta read the, uh, the small text. Oh, well, uh, okay. Yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll do that then. I am all for the robots in Frostbung 1. Let's let them do the work. I had like seven in my most recent one, and then I was running out of wood, and I needed to upgrade my wall drills. Yeah, and uh, had to get my cores back and kill two of them. So I had five by end game. The end of the world changes people. It changed us us the foragers natural survivalists adapted to harsh frostland conditions the machinist descendants of groups that built the initial cities and maintained their machinery we chose you as our steward to lead the city as overpopulation looms and resources dwindle we all dream of a better future what it should look like this we can't agree on tension stirs and radicals rear their heads navigating this will be your ultimate challenge. I can't wait, but at the moment I'm making dinner, so I gotta keep running back and forth. I'll be right back.
six. And we are back. We are back. Ready to brave the cold. Sorry to keep you guys waiting. Alright. Wait, the city must not fall. Yes, of course, of course. We will try our best. Colonize the Frostland. Man, the first like week I had this game, I was trying not to look up guides. My my biggest issue was my dumb brain couldn't comprehend you could build more than one workshop. Once I figured <laughs> once I was like, wait a sec. You can do that? Yeah, I mean the game was just so easy after that. We've grown numerous over the years and waited too long to strike out. Our coal stockpiles are nearly depleted. We have to colonize the Frostland. But first, we located some coal deposits in rough terrain around the city. We must send frost-breaking crews to access them. Okay, we need more coal. Foragers, machinists. Uh, okay. Frostbreak, new area. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Let's pause. I... Whoa. Frostbreak, construct buildings, construct district hubs. Frostbreaking. Initially, you can only build districts in a limited area. The wider terrain is covered in frozen stiff ground, which is impossible to construct upon. To widen the buildable area, you'll need to use frostbreakers. Huh. You can send out frostbreaking teams by clicking the frostbreaking button. Located in the bottom right of the screen, then find your way towards the edges of the buildable area and click on white tiles until the indicator circle is full. Frostbreakable resource tiles will be colored in blue with the icon of a corresponding resource over time. Frost breaking cost is fixed and unless there are no more tiles to click, the amount of tiles needed to begin frost breaking is always the same. All right, I just read a whole lot and did not uh, retain any of it. I read the word frostbreakers a lot. Um, but yeah, we will frostbreaking access a coal deposit using frostbreakers. Construct an extraction district on a coal deposit. Oh wait. I think that's coal, if I remember correctly. Let's just... Wait, did I not... Wait. I don't know if I did that right. I don't know. There's the... Uh, okay, well... Heat stamps. Heat stamps are a stockpile re stockpileable resource that can be spent on frost breaking. Constructing districts or buildings or when using specific actions. A city collects heat stamps weekly. Every community provides its share depending on its size. The bigger the community, the more they contribute. Heat stamps income can be increased by satisfying goods demand can also be modified by certain laws and buildings. You can request or donate heat stamps to communities and factions. Click, yeah, the factions. This is totally new. This is going to be pretty cool. Click on a community or faction at the bottom of the screen to see the list of possible actions. Okay.
the foragers 4,100 members 3,900 adaptation is key in reliance on machines as weakness damn technological progress guarantees survival this is how I play the first one but I don't know, that sounds pretty badass reliance on machines is weakness fund project so there's heat stamps Did we do it right? Okay, I don't think we did. I think we are there now, though. Maybe? Is this still the heat stamps thing? District construction districts are the base of your city's economy. Build them to produce or process resources, provide shelter, or recruit frostland teams. Districts have a fixed number of tiles needed to begin construction. When building a district, keep a look out for the indicator circle, which shows you how many tiles you still have to click for the construction to start. I see. District hubs. Industrial district. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Available tiles are white. Already selected tiles are yellow. Extraction, food, and logistics districts require deposits to be built. You need to begin selecting tiles from the deposit, which is highlighted in blue and shows a corresponding resource icon. Mm -hmm. Minor cold, hunger absent but stable, squalor absent but stable, disease absent growing, crime, guard squads 12, 70 coal, materials, goods, food, shelter, we have 31 homeless, heat, workforce, Wars. Huh. Okay. Right? I'm confused. Production, wait. Raw resource extraction be constructed on different types of deposits. Oh. Wait, what? Central district, the generator. Empty building slot. Wait. Oh god, I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, okay, well. Boom. Uh Okay, okay. Looming cold, as the cold problem in our city continues to worsen, we must take action to protect our citizens. In these harsh conditions, people need a roof over their heads and enough heat to warm their homes. Is the generator powerful enough to heat the city? Do we need to extract more fuel? If our current methods aren't enough, we should consider alternatives. Cold has risen to a concerning level. I see. So we would need to build... Housing districts, of course. Near the generator, probably. Mm, we'll build it on this side. Mm 
Mm, it's still plus five feet. One, two, three, four. How many? We only have two more. Okay. So we'll just do like. Hmm. That. That was one of the. Organization is like one of the biggest things you need for the first one. I should have probably grouped them up smaller and sort of making a line. I uh, yeah. We'll we'll figure this game out together though. We have what is this days until it gets colder. I mean, probably not seventy days or hours. Twenty hours. To, I don't know. Like in game. We have 25 cores, what the... Is this still... Oh, the generator. The generator is the primary source of heat in the city. It requires fuel to function, and initially your main source of fuel is coal. But later in the game, you can research and discover different types of fuel, which vary in efficiency. That's interesting. The generator uses as much available fuel as is needed to fulfill heat demand in the city. You can also... Activate overdrive, which increases output of the generator. Be careful and turn it off before the overdrive bar fills up to avoid generator malfunction. Malfunction causes deaths and temporarily reduces the efficiency of the generator. Okay. Frozen frost. Oh, yeah. Okay. Frozen frost. Construct buildings. Food. Yeah, yeah, good. We secured a new source of coal for the generator. Demolish the district. What is this power button? Expand the district. Emergency shift. So I do love a good emergency shift. What is. Okay. Empty building slot. I don't know how to. Security for the future. Steward, we are extracting more coal than we currently need to provide adequate heat. As such, we've begun to stockpile the surplus at the moment. We have ample storage space left. However, this space will eventually be filled. And any additional coal will be left out in the elements, rendering it worthless. If we do not wish to lose the surplus, we should build more depots. There are different types of depots for various resources. You can construct them in any district that have empty building space. I see. There's a building slot, but all we have is a food depot. Oh, fuel, goods, materials. Facility with some of the storage of massives. Okay, plus 30,000 coal. Holy shit, 30,000? And we can, uh, ha, 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 okay. Overdrive. What's the next tip you got for me? Area effects. Pay attention to where you construct districts as area effects may give them additional positive or negative effects. Area effects are caused by environmental circumstances. Huh. Yeah, the plus five feet. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Um, uh, area effects are applied when a specific number of district tiles are located within it. While building any district, a tooltip will provide information. Yeah, yeah. For example, it's good to place housing districts near the central district and near other housing districts to benefit from more heating. It's a big housing district. On the other hand, it's better to avoid building housing or food districts near extraction since toxic air from the extraction 
network will negatively affect these districts, increasing squalor. Okay. Can I build roads? Like, are, do, are, are roads auto-built now? Interesting. Are the houses auto-built? It kind of looks like it. That's also very interesting. Hmm. Construct two housing districts. Okay, we can do that. I mean, are they going to just, I mean, they're touching. Are they just going to be, like, connected, or is this going to be two housing districts? I have to build a, a ring around. <laughs> One of the funniest things I tried to do when I was like learning how to play and I didn't know like the basic strategy I made it pretty far I ran out of food which was my issue but I just built thumpers <laughs> around the the core it was all thumpers and so <laughs> they were basically just starving to death working 24 7 gathering coal and putting it straight into the generator uh, I was banished during the storm. They were not a fan of my leadership methods. Unresolved problems in a city can mark part of its workforce absent. Those workers are temporarily excluded from your workforce. Uh, there are two main types, sick and injured. Yeah, okay, I remember that. Can I still build, like, prosthetics and stuff for, uh, injured? Get them back to work? Can I still triage? and kill a quarter of my sick people to make them go back to work. This game is on such a bigger scale. Holy crap. So I'm gaining... 15 what? 15 a... Oh, 15 a day. I see. Yeah, we already read that. Okay, scraping the barrel with heat from the generator and shelter for everyone. We're safe from the cold for now, but as the city grows, it will not be enough. The machinists and the foragers have different opinions on how to improve the city further. We need a place to develop ideas for the future. Expand a housing district to provide more space for advanced buildings and build a research institute. I see. Research coal mines. We have to expand. Hmm. I'm confused, huh? Okay. Selecting this. Okay, so I'm doing that. This research station go. Is it industrial? Expand districts to increase their scale, both in terms of size and capabilities. Expanded districts are more efficient and provide. Additional, okay, uh, select a district to open it and click expand, then select new tiles around the chosen district, start the expansion. 
there are not enough adjacent tiles, it looks like the district cannot be expanded. Okay. Hubs. Air transport hub. Reduces workforce requirement in all neighboring districts. So yeah, now that it's been expanded, I see, okay, there's a building slot. Machine-powered mining or a more frugal solution. They would never display such discord in the captain's heyday. Uh, show me our options. Yes. <coughs> However, different communities may propose emerging answers to the same issue. Mm -hmm. Choosing a community to develop an idea will improve your relations with that community. Oh, I see, I see. Progress, adaptation, progress, adaptation. So that's how you pick sides, I guess. But then some only have... How deep are these skill trees? You can't tell. Pyrochemical oil extractor? Worker obsolence? Yeah. That's what I like. Coal something, materials, what the? Uh, dust coal mine, grinding coal mine. Okay, one second, let me finish my din din. Okay. <clears throat> Construction cost is the same. This one requires less workers and gets better coal. Higher materials demand. And squalor is a new uh new thing. Filth, grime, pollution present present in the city. It is produced by the generator, heavy machinery, and poor sanitation. Squalor increases sickliness, slows population growth, and wears down districts. Hmm. Yeah, there really isn't a con to having a bunch. Of, well, actually, my robots like did kill like two or three people by accidentally stepping on them. But like it's just two or three people. Who cares, right? Um, we'll do the machinists. Sure. Okay, so we're researching coal mines. Where can we see how the research is going? 
14 weeks, one day left. Okay. I'll construct the newly researched building and then extraction district. Let's see. Well, let's just keep on. Oh, what is this? A little bit of food. So there's no gain to any of this here. Where are my frost breakers? What is this supposed to be? Wood? I think so. I don't know what that is. Ooh, uh, what is that also? Let's just pick a direction and go one way. Explore. Let's explore this path. Why not? We'll get to the wood first. We got two more. Boom, boom. I did read this already, didn't I? I mean, we don't need any more homes. We have 14 surplus. I mean, shoot, look at that. We're, oh. I think it was called Utopia. I was like, <laughs> I'm already winning the game. Um, this was a food district. It said, don't build housing near extraction districts, I think was the only thing. And we still only have these two buildings? Okay. Uh, there we go. And it looks like maybe you can get like more counselors? Uh, or maybe that's just like a picture. Let's speed some time up. Let's get that tech done. Alright, let's uh... We can build a, f oops, a food depot in here. Uh, oh, we don't have materials. Okay. Oh, so that's what materials are. I see. I thought we have they replaced wood. Ah, yeah, wood is not a thing anymore. Wood is probably just materials, though. Yeah, I see. Okay. Well, we got a frost break then. We got to get some wood. Or, oh, we got to wait for that to finish. We'll speed it up. Frost break. Frost break. We gotta get all the wood. Oh, that's iron. Oh, wait. Frozen forest. Okay, so materials can be iron or wood, it looks like. Old way station. Oh, that's so cool. Old way station. Old way station. Is that like what you send your scouts on in the first one or the outposts? Huh. Man, on negative 20, that's a nice warm day here in Frostpunk. Stockpiles depleted. Steward, our initial stockpiles of coal have run out. Our current output will satisfy some of the demand, but problems will mount over time. We must expand our districts to establish new ones to provide more supply. Otherwise, the city and us will suffer. Expand or build new districts to get more coal. Interesting. Okay. Wait, so just expanding that will make it better? Total output 1.0. 
20. We can't expand. Do we not have heat stamps? Is that the issue? We have 36, it looks like. Plus 11 a week. So yeah, that is the issue. Let's get up to 50. We have two days left. Okay, we can expand though. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Coal mines has almost been researched. Trust. Trust is located below the tension meter at the bottom of the screen. Trust shows how much confidence people have in you as the steward of the city in your decision making. It mainly consists of your relations with all of the communities and factions. However, your decisions and actions can also influence your overall trust. Be careful if your trust runs out and you become despised among your people. The populace might want to dispose you and strip you of your steward position. I've well, been there, done that. You can improve your overall trust by increasing your relations with the communities and factions. This can be done by using various community actions in their corresponding community panel. Try clicking on community portraits at the bottom of the screen to see what you can do for them. Otherwise, trust can be increased by signing certain laws or fulfilling promises made in negotiations. Okay, yeah. Sounds familiar, it's a little different, but sounds familiar. <laughs> okay, so, okay, we can get into advanced coal mines already, or not. Can we not? Oh, we can. Forgers, deep shaft coal mine, blasting coal mine, let's see what else we got. Sawmills, we are going to a forest here, untreated wood sawmill. Mechanized sawmill. 60 heat demand, 20 disease of squalor. Okay. Progress! Wait, oh, uh, we need the 50 heat sink? Is that what they're calling it? Wait a sec. Wait a sec. What? Oh my god, what? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, what? Oh, uh, okay. Okay, okay. We're gonna save up some of these. That's a lot of stuff. Um, extraction. A grinding coal mine. What do we need for this? 61 heat stamps. How the heck do we get these? From population size. From unmet... Plus 11 a week, right click for more info. Meeting demand for goods. As well as certain walls and buildings. Okay, I see. There's another uh, building slot, okay. But we have no heat stamps, let's just uh, zoom forward a little bit. I mean, we need a lot. We can't... Okay, well, we can build the coal building. But now we're going to be waiting on the next tech, which is not how you would be playing the first one. You don't want to be waiting on anything. So this is not exactly efficient gameplay, but yeah, we're learning. Minus one. Minus one. Okay. So, hmm, your kids actually grow up in this game. 
With the new mine, we have enough coal output to last us a while. Yet differences between communities remain. You know, under do, 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 the time has come, steward. The people want a say in how the city is run. We need a council. Enact a new law through a successful vote in the council. Build the council hall. Uh, central council hall. We need 42 heat stamps. Uh, you lack 31. Oh, I needed 42 more, not 42 total. 20 absent. 20 people are sick. So where does... Okay, it goes in the central area. Ah. Huh. And we can keep moving the frost break too now. Wait. It's not giving me. Oh, it's because I don't have any heat stamps. Alright. Huh. The council gathers for the first time. First council session. People cheer as the gates of the council open. Feels like a piece of the world lost to the frost has been regained. The people are hopeful to have their voices heard. While the machinists and forgers clash about our survival strategy, neither has a firm stance on economic or social issues. However, many in their ranks do. Though they keep to the shadows for now, Mm, very interesting. To pass any law on the council, you will need the majority of delegates to support it. Open the session. Oh, no. very cool. The council, people of the city, sent 100 delegates to represent them. Your role as steward is to propose laws. They'll be put to a vote. However, communities have a different outlook on many things. You may have to negotiate or pressure them to get enough support. Very interesting. Propose a law. Goods, no common rules. There are no defined standards for how goods are produced. Uh, mass produced goods, goods production efficiency is significantly increased. Durable goods, goods demand per capita is marginally decreased. Food additives, forged additives, food output per capita is slightly increased. Chemical additives, food production and efficiency is significantly increased. So that is soup versus sawdust right there. Always go soup. Always go soup. Um, interesting though. Economy. <coughs> Welfare. Heat stamps income per capita is increased. Well, we need that. Resource production efficiency is slightly increased. Trust will pay to... Ah. Shit. Um, infection badge. Disease is deep. <laughs> you have to wear <laughs> a badge if you're sick. Holy shit. Um, supported quarantine disease. A significant shelter availability per capita. Um... Expedition support, exploration time is decreased, materials output per capita is increased, heat stamps income. Heat, oh man, there's so many. Oh, my brain. There's no clear rules. Uh, yeah, um, allow productive outside population growth is marginally increased heat stamps income per capita. Okay. 
These are tough choices. Funerals. Funerals. Back in my day, we just had the snow pit where we dumped all the bodies. I guess that's what harvesting funerals would be. Uh, no common rules. There are no rules that define who is responsible for the care and education of children. Um, percentage of active workers is, uh, research speed. Hmm, all those are tough. I feel like a paid essentials has got to be a good one. People are divided a small step towards merit. A small step towards equality. Oh my gosh. Merit, equality. Adaptation, progress, merit, equality. So those seem like the four uh basic m ones merit equality yeah and then machinist and whatever the other dudes are foragers people are divided on just about everything ugh Typically, you would want like the scouts. So where are those at? Community service. Let's do here. City development effort. Everyone must support the extraction work in an effort to gain more resources for the city. Uh, materials output per capita is increased. What is this? Merit. Heat stamps income per capita. Heat. Demand. We will just stick with machinists. Whatever. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, we'll do that one. City development effort. Everyone must support the extraction work in an effort to gain more resources for the city. 37 for, 37 hesitant, 26 against. Is that. People are divided. What do I need? You are tolerated. Yeah, what do I need to pass? Is it gonna pass? 37 of 49 are for. Is voting in ten. Oh, we need fifty one. I did. Oh, sh oh, wait. Oh, so some of the hesitant, the hesitant can go either way. Oh. The new law has been agreed upon. Good. There are challenges ahead. Improving coal extraction is success, but the vein will only last so long. We need to explore the frost land for a permanent source of fuel. That's the first step in our colonization effort. If we don't take over the city, we'll have no future at all. This concludes the onboarding task in this preview. Remember, you can always consult the tutorial. Okay. Dennis Briggs, machinist. If we build and innovate, all will know bounty. Yes. Yes. We need more research. Speed. 68 should be enough. Okay, quality, merit, reason, and tradition. Okay. So there's six then. We hot houses, filtration towers, worker shifts, logistic bays. 
goods, factories, uh, calibrated goods. Uh, what is this gonna do? 600 materials required. 40 heat demand facilities. Using advanced machinery introduction lines to manufacture standardized domestic goods requires an industrial district. So, sure. We don't have an industrial district yet, do we? Districts and hubs. No, I do not believe we do. Is there... So that is a shallow... Okay. Fertile ground, iron ore. Very interesting. We need to speed up time, get more of these heat stamps. this council oh we can propose another law wait 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 what is rule huh Research speed is slightly okay. Yeah, let's see that. People are divided. Twenty four seventy hesitant. We need fifty one. I mean, we have twenty. Pressure the delegates. Pressure, which will sway them towards wording the law. The more trusted you are, the more effective it will be. I'm just tolerated. How do we negotiate? Negotiate open machinists. My terms vote for use a community action on community action granted. General machinists choose the next law to be voted. Uh, whoa. In order to overcome scarcity, we will organize our production lines to increase. Uh, to put less pressure on workers, work places must keep machines powered around the clock and adjust working hours accordingly. Uh, so is this basically me saying this will be the next law or you can pick the next law? Now they all achieve the exact same thing. Okay. Huh. The votes are in. The measure passes. Yeah. Sue Miller, twelve, a street urchin, looking for trouble. <clears throat> Cindy's pa went on, went and got her a governess, like she is gonna be a duchess or something. Not on our watch. We roughed up the little bitch, all right. Ferguson's boys will learn this too. <laughs> if they try and wife us again tonight, we'll put razors and say we'll cut out their eyes. It'll be good fun. But what we's want is a proper rumble, short blades only. Come on, who wants to play? The lack of a law regulating childhood is causing tensions to rise throughout the city. Ah. Okay. Well, we've already uh, promised the machinists that we would be focusing elsewhere. We need 25 heat stamps for that. Okay. Crime is growing. Squalor is minor. Uh, 
time left. Oh, it was just a promise. It's not guaranteed to happen. I see. So, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I could promise, like, the foragers I would do something for them <laughs> and just not do it, but I could get a couple of their votes. At least for one thing before, yeah, yeah, yeah. They lose trust in me. The city grows, Steward, a new count has revealed significant growth in our population in recent weeks. Some attribute to the rise to an influx of settlers from the Frostland, others to births outnumbering deaths. What are the cause? We have adjusted our calculations of the city's need to reflect the new numbers. It's a lot more people. Uh, well, alright. As much as I want to build the industrial thing, we just need more extraction. We need to get up here for food. I can't do that yet. Colder season, uh oh. That's cold alright. Rex Dale, entrepreneur. Returning from the city approach trail, a profitable day. First couple were all rags and bones, useless. But then there was this woman with real ruby earrings. Ought to cover the arrival fee, I said. The wife will love those. Next was a bunch of strong fellows. I sent them straight to Elaine's place. She'll wring them dry before I get home. Lately, there's been less of them. Maybe word is getting around. Got to take advantage while it lasts. Lack of law regulating outsiders is decreasing population growth. Well, we're going to focus on our promises. What did I say? Oh, no, this is not uh, what I meant to look at, but oh, whatever. It's fine. Um... Oh, there's the machine adjusted ships. That was one thing. Generator, logistic bays. Hi. Housing block. Are they just the exact same thing? The youth. Wait. Mass produced goods. Oh, that's a. C right? Promise. I don't think that was any of these things. save our heat
Yeah, we already have 49 out of 51. Like, surely two of these hesitant people will vote on our side. Oh, they're all foragers. Oh, shit. Oh, for, like, maybe. Oh. Let's see. Okay, good, good, good. The proposed law has been approved. Promise to machinists kept. The machinists are delightful. Are delighted you kept your word. They now look upon your rule more positively and consider you a leader with integrity because you kept promises. Uh, mach relations with machinists improve. Trust rises. Okay, okay. Relations favorable. Neutral still. I'm establish a food colony, a fuel colony, a materials. Explore more frostlands territory. Um, food district. We need thirty three heat stamps. Feral children. Stuart, five children are dead and dozens lay wounded after two large youth gangs met for what they called a rumble. Most of the children were armed with knives. The fighting escalated to a full-scale battle as the parents of the deceased mourn. Many insist these children should not have been left unattended. Indeed, many backstreet alleys may seem to be overtaken by uncared for youth. Some areas are beginning to be dangerous even for adults. Why is this my fault? Shouldn't the parents be watching them? Have some sort of something in place? So we did already have a food one. I, I forgot. Whatever. This is fine. Uh. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Mandatory school towards reason, towards tradition. I haven't seen tradition now. Uh, family, apprenticeship, research speed. I mean, that's nice. Percentage of active workers. I mean, heat stamps seem pretty important. We'll do that. Machinas of those four. Childhood regular childhood law has been regulated. You kept your promise, evaded unnecessary chaos in the city. Good, good, good. Get those kids to work. I guess just class, really. Um, we're just going to build a straight line. I just want to get there. We already have one, it looks like. Okay. Well, we don't have any buildings here yet. 
So yeah, what do we do here? Build a logistics district. Okay. Um, right here. So I need to do the industrial as well. I heard something. Dr. Berta Newman, chemist. I doubted it, but we do make machines work for us. I doubted people could fathom using the corpses of our brothers and sister. Yet here people have no reservations. This made me realize what the city can become. The times of mere survival are gone. We must organize. A brighter tomorrow is within our reach. Technocrats formed in support of mass-produced goods and harvesting funerals. I think we've done all that. Technocrats, huh? A new voice, technocrats. Oh. 6% of the city technocrats. One progress, two equality, three reason. They seek to pass. Uh, I mean, I like all of these except for the food additives. I do not like that. We're interesting. Okay, so they're all different groups. We are ruled by a sage. Ah. If all join us together, we shall ensure the steward's will is done. What's this? Researcher looks at technocrats members leaving the institute. They keep looking at my hands. Every day they come and pester me about my work. What are you doing right now? Can we push the other research along? Why are you halting the drafting of the law we discussed yesterday? They want to influence what we do. Well, the technocrats want to steer the city closer to their ideals. Whoa, what is this? Y'all are popping up. Technocrats rallies build support. Steward, the technocrats have started gathering the period for periodic rallies supporting your rule. The display of remarkable technical skill, they have rerouted district broadcasting systems to carry their messages. That is some cool fucking art. Their speakers fill the air with educational programs and prescriptions for rational living. They explained how to tally up all your activities in a ledger and identify inefficiencies, said one resident, and it worked. I shaved 31 minutes off my daily routine. Nice. The technocrats are suggesting several things they believe will improve the city further. Do you want to support one of them? Promote. Promise to research chemical drum hothouse. I don't know what that is. Uh, promise to research all do maintenance, research liberated youths. Uh, all do maintenance? I don't know. I don't know what they do. Yeah, all do maintenance, sure. What is this? Dense how dense housing district, huh? Very interesting. Okay, we'll do. I guess. Eh, whatever. Uh, we need more. I want to build an industrial district. Scour the Frostland. Our logistics district is ready and the Frostland team stand by for your orders. Frostland exploration is now available. Sweet. Plains, plains, valley, frozen desert. There's a flag there. Well, let's do this. An old enemy. Steward, it was only a matter of time. We had an unusually long streak of mild weather. But now meteorologists are clear. There's a familiar drop in air pressure at higher altitudes. A whiteout is coming. 
the wind will cause extreme cold and the clouds will blot out the sun without shelter and ample ample fuel our people will be at mortal risk we have to prepare the whiteout arrives in 80 weeks heat demand will increase greatly during the whiteout I'll return to the city plains plains frozen desert mountains unsafe what what is William Hoff Hunter, frightened by growing presence of technocrats. The city is changing. We started a family. Here we bore children. We toiled against the hardships like everybody else. But now these technocrats, they walk around telling people what to do, what to think, what they spout. Well, it is utterly, utter folly against everything that made us. I, we will not have it. The fate of our children is at stake. We will chart the path for our city. Ice bloods have formed an opposition to the technocrats. Ice bloods, huh? That motherfucker is crazy. Bruh, you cannot trust anyone rocking a shirtless look in like negative 50 degrees Celsius weather. Uh, nah. Family apprenticeship. Oh, too late for that. Allow productive outsiders. Yeah, expedition support. Uh, just go to the planes, I guess. The launch expedition. Nine weeks. Uh, can do this. Uh, ice bloods begin protesting. Steward, the ice bloods have been growing skeptical towards the direction you lead the city in. Now they decide to protest, blocking all activity in the district. The city is changing, and for the worst, more decisions like this, and it will endanger everything we stand for. They demand you repeal mandatory school. That's not happening. They will keep. How dare you make us take our kids to school? How dare you? Before this stupid school, our kids were killing each other in the street. We need to go back to that. Ay ay ay, I can't even do anything. <laughs> There's too many things popping up. Uh, fund projects, granted, and uh, make promise, promote community. Steward, if you don't want to negotiate with the protest in fashion, uh, guards can disperse them. However, if you improve relations, the protests will also cease. To this end, we can fund their projects to appease them, granting them agenda. There's a fair way to give them a chance at keep changing the city. Otherwise, we can make a promise. Yeah, we can do that. Promise to the machinist. Huh? Oh. I think I meant to do that. Oh well. Growing hunger, steward with hunger, becoming pressing concern, you must. F I'm trying. I just got to deal with these people just whining all the dang time. Oops. Oops. Cancel. They just whine, whine, whine. Um, oh wait, no, that's not how you expand. Oh, we can't expand it anymore. Can we expand this or no? Okay, we can. Let's, let's, yeah, actually frostbreak this. Yeah, I wanna... Outsiders, sure.
trust will rise. Let's let's gain some trust. Um, won't negotiate. Has active promise. Oh, I wait. Huh? Active pro? What? 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 What are my problems? Research all do maintenance. Uh, I don't think I don't know. Put it in here. Economy. Wait. Equal pay. Efficiency bonuses. Ah, maintenance duty. All do maintenance, unproductive do maintenance. The outsiders will set rules for entry. I can do that. Like I said, you can't trust those ice bloods in their shirtless having bodies in this cold weather. Uh, negotiate has act. Protest spreads to expanded extraction district. Bring it down. If they want a new one, they'll have to build it again. They use resources we extract things we made for this building, and we do not want it here. Angry crowds enter expanded extraction. The construction of this building was always frowned upon by ice bloods, and finally, within the chaos of their protests, some could act upon their desire. Send guards. You need 20. Oh, uh, wait. Where are the planes that I sent them to? Uh. It's been going so. Well. <laughs> There's too much going on right now. Uh, Steward, the technocrats have extended their activities into a new district. They have erected a stage near the hub and hold periodic rallies. During the most recent event, they announced their brightest minds have been meeting in the evenings to draft plans and test different designs. After some researching, filtration towers have presented their solution to the city. We've done all the work and laid out the plans. All the steward has to do. Pledge to build a ventilation tower. But I'm so. Where? Yeah. I don't know where they are. Are they this? Just around the river bend? I see. Or is it this? What? Harvest. Oh, is this where they are? The exclamation point?
Uh, I'm so confused. I don't know. Is this why I sent them? Maybe it was. I don't think so. Okay, ration bunker. I think. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Protest in progress. Oh no, not that. We have six. Okay, we've sped up time so much we actually have some stuff now. Uh, let's let's just build some. Let me try this. One hundred eighty eight people froze to death. Oh. Death due to the cold. People can freeze to death until the cold is brought down. Death's worse than negative forty Celsius. Industrial calibrated goods factory. Yeah, we're just gonna try out all these different things. Um, housing. Let's see, we can build a tower somewhere maybe. Appeal. Interesting. Very interesting. And what is this coal? Do we not have any coal? Oh. <laughs> That's why they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, that makes sense. That makes sense.
Dang, yeah, so you kind of got to, like, yeah. I'm obviously not balancing it. I didn't think they would fucking <laughs> shut down the coal, like the mining buildings, and just freeze to death. Yeah, but you, you gotta find a good balance. I see. Very cool though. Here's a little bone for you, Ice Bloods. How about that? How do we not have 80 food? We have 80 food. So why can't we send them on a hunting trip? have the food. They don't trust us, I guess? I mean, I don't know. What other kind of... So there's housing. How oh, they have the air trans. You can... Very, very interesting. disease growing. Ah, okay. We have no coal, so I don't know why the houses are even warm.
blasting mine. I think that was the advanced one, yeah. To a hundred. Ten Frostland teams? How do I see? I've got five, okay. <laughs> we have lost like half of our population. <laughs> a very different game but it is very interesting I'm probably gonna maybe go to like 8 o'clock oh wait population 8,000 Overall, that's just 4,000 workers. Okay, so our population hasn't declined then. Just people refusing to work. Is that the cold? I don't know what this black... Oh, the whiteout's already here. Like, oh my, everyone's about to die. <laughs> Whatever. This would be funny. All right, we're done here. Dedicated motherhood, sure. What happens if I do this? Technocrats, fight them for me! I feel like... Huh. Saving. Am I about to get booted? Let's see. Oh yeah, I'm about to get booted. Oh, so that's how you can unlock some later? Where's the mama stuff? I'll do maintenance, yeah. Youth.
Oh, weird. Due to full UV on. Wait, where's that mother lead duty thing we saw? What? Come on, how do I get guards? I need more guards. Huh, I don't know where that, uh... No. I feel like it should be one of these things, worker shifts. Let's just do this one. Okay, this is gonna get me kicked out. I don't whatever. I'll let it get off anyway. I just wanna see what happens. We got, uh, I think the beta's only out for the next week. Maybe I'll try to stream another day this week. We'll see if I get the time. But yeah, I'm about to get kicked out any second now. Right, surely. No? They don't want to kick me out yet. Wait, it stopped production today. Lack of workforce. Oh, we're getting cold. Wait, so they. Thrown out of office. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Return. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a fun little uh, first session where we completely sided with one of the groups and the other group uh yeah did everything in their power to kick me out essentially uh that is uh a new and something to get used to but yeah uh i'll try to maybe i mean maybe tomorrow maybe wednesday i'll try to stream like another hour or two of this game later this week I might be streaming Frostpunk 1 next Monday. Um, but yeah, much love. Uh, there's like a there's a, a little chance we're getting together on Saturday. Um, but yeah. Why is it so blurry? Is this a, or maybe it's just my computer. Hopefully. Anyway, I'm getting off. Uh, see you guys uh, some other time. Bye-bye.